It was a busy day at grocery stores as the usual Sunday stock up seemed to gain more urgency with the governor further limiting capacity inside grocery stores. We'll just have to stock up really good on the things that we can stock up on. The toilet paper section was decimated and they put limits on several key items that were wiped out in the spring. We've got plenty of food in the supply chain, but we need people to only buy what they need right now. We hope we don't have hoarding going on in, in in our stores. Uh, that is really not necessary and most unhelpful right now. Stores were already facing reduced capacity and the new restrictions bring it to just 25 percent, a number that will vary store to store depending on its size. And we are asking that people try to only send one person from their household to do their shopping. Well, the store says they're already seeing a big increase in people stocking up on their Thanksgiving dinner supplies. Normally they would have probably waited until a few days before Thanksgiving. I think a lot of people are trying to get it done now and make sure that they have everything they need. With indoor gatherings banned and more families will be cooking this year, stores suggest people shop in the morning hours and stock up early. That way they can avoid the lines and hopefully empty shelves. So it's inconvenient, but I think it's the right thing to do. I'm all for better safe than sorry. Amy Marino, King 5 News. Safeway and Albertson stores in Washington say they will put limits on some products. They're also asking people to avoid stockpiling. There will also be special shopping hours on Tuesdays and Thursdays for seniors and the vulnerable.